DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Outback Archery Deer Run Cabin Rentals and DeerHunterFan.com Me. I think I got him. It was just a little far back. I'm gonna wait. I mean, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. This morning I was getting on my tree at 11 o'clock and I had deer moving. I knew it was gonna be a good day. I got back in this tree at quarter after one. Here it is, 2.30. He's coming up through. He got over there and winded me and cut back across this way. That's pushing a 50 yard shot. I drilled him, man. I think it might have been a little far back. Might have been liver, hopefully back of lungs. But as I said, I got a lot of time. I'm gonna wait. And uh, I think we got him, man. I think we got him. Starting to snow pretty good now. I'm gonna get down, take my time, walk over and just look at the initial blood trail. And, uh, I mean, if it's just pumping blood, I'm going to track it. If not, we're going to back out, give them time. As I said, it's only, it's, it's almost 3 o'clock now. So, let's get down. Where have we seen that before?
Well, here he is. What a great hunt. As I said, I got in here at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Started in, was in my stand by 1.15. And uh, he comes through at 2.30. Gave me a 45 yard shot, I paced it off. Man, I let him have it. I drilled him right in here, right out here. He only went about 70 yards. With the wet ground, there was I couldn't pick up blood anywhere. These woods are so open, I just combed through there and I had no trouble finding them. He was laying right there. But uh, I'll tell you what, my first Ohio buck right here, and uh, I'm really pleased with him. He's a four point, no brows. I knew he was just a nice, tall, racked buck, and uh, I took him, and he's all I expected, and uh, I'm happy. So, uh, buck number two on the year. We got some serious business to conclude in New York now. But I'm here for at least tomorrow, possibly Sunday. I gotta get dough on the ground. There he is, he's made the eight or 900 yard trek from all the way back there and then back in the woods about 250 yards. That was the easy part, now I gotta get him in there. I get him wrapped up in a tarp and in the back of the trailblazer. That won't be easy to do. There's my out hole. Nice buck. Well, it's day two here in Ohio. We just woke up. It's 5.50. Gonna head out and try to get a dough tonight. Or today. This morning. Got my buck yesterday. We're gonna see if we can't complete the trip here and be done in two days. Well, I'm gonna get down. Uh, it's snowing, raining, I'm soaked, freezing cold. You never know how this weather is gonna affect the deer. A lot of times, with the first snow like this, they bed down. Snow's on for a couple days, they get they get moving. But uh, when it's mixing with rain and stuff, it's tough. I seen that one doe this morning. When it when it stopped raining, she moved on through. But hey, we're going home with a buck in the back of the truck. Nothing wrong with that. See you in New York. Yeah. <laughs>